first of all, congrats, Probst, for editing and transcribing that video. That looked like it would have been a real pain to do, especially right before you go back to med school. But let's just jump into it. If I could see myself becoming a supervillain in any way or for any reason, it would probably be either for global warming or unethical corporations. Thinking of ways to stop unethical corporations, though, generally gives me ideas that are similar to Cook's ideas. So I'm going to go with global warming. And it's also nice that this is a somewhat similar motivation to Orm's motivation in the Aquaman movie. And it also lets me relive some of the moments from the movie First Reform that came out earlier this year, in which Ethan Hawke, who is a pastor, gets radicalized over time into an extremist because he becomes depressed that the church isn't doing anything about global warming. Really good film? Don't watch it. So my plan would be to stop global warming. And I could think of a bunch of small, fun, individual ways to stop individual pieces of global warming. Like I could give cows and chickens a virus that would make them inedible or poisonous. And I don't know if that's possible, but I'm also a comic book supervillain. And so I'm not concerned with what's possible at the moment. I don't need to think my evil plan through. I can make it so that motors don't work so that everyone has to bike everywhere instead of using cars. I can also just make it so that you can't generate electricity electricity by burning fossil fuels, incentivizing people to spend a lot more time and resources on getting solar panels and wind turbines to work better and work more. This also allows me to stop global warming in a much more humane way. Sure, it won't be fun for the people who have to have to go through it, but you're also going to be living better than people who are in like 1 AD. And people aren't going to die at unreasonably high rates, and it's going to save people overall in the long run. The biggest contributors to global warming are electricity, agriculture, culture, transportation, and industry. And people argue about how much exactly we need to cut back on emissions, but I'm going to just shoot for around 50. 50% of emissions I want gone, at least. According to the EPA, electricity and agriculture account for 49% of all emissions. I'll leave a link in the description that you could also just Google worst contributors to climate change. Unfortunately, we can't cut agriculture fully. There's always going to be some amount of impact from agriculture. However, that would get rid of the 25% of electricity and heat completely. And that makes me think. If we were able to stop people from just burning any kind of fossil fuel, that would probably do a pretty good job. That would fully get rid of electricity, most of transportation, and a good chunk of agriculture as well. I can't just get rid of all greenhouse gases so that they can't exist on Earth anymore. I imagine that that would cause some bigger problems. However, if I could make it so that humans can't create an excess amount of greenhouse gases, say by making all forms of non-renewable energy just disappear. And hot dog, we just cut down our emissions significantly. So I would say that my ability would be the ability to make matter disappear. And I would just get rid of coal, natural gas, oil, farts. You gotta get rid of farts. Is any of this going to affect the world more negatively than I anticipated? Maybe. I would even say probably. But I'm a supervillain. And either way, more people are going to die, so I might as well just do it if I can. So essentially, my answer is, I would become a climate terrorist. Or I can just kill two birds with one stone and start a nuclear war. We get submerged in nuclear winter, there are less people around, corporations tumble, and everyone stops paying so much attention to their phones, and they stop complaining about their soggy avocado toast. Or of course, I could always just... Okay, so I don't actually know if you guys are going to get that reference. Basically, it was an Infinity War joke. It was a joke from Infinity War. At the end of the movie, Thanos snaps his fingers and he makes half the population disappear because on his own planet, he was not able to get attention to that.